Hello everyone, I am Durge Sahani and we are creating tutorials for RESTful API development uh, by using JWT. So uh, in previous tutorials we have created uh, supporting functions, all the supporting functions or you can say models for API development. So all the REST classes, in the REST class all the supporting function we, uh, we have uh, defined and uh, we have extended it to api.php. So we have to include that file, REST file first. So at several time we have to uh, write logic for including uh, the file. So what I will do, I will use autoloader. I'll, we will create one new file and we will write the code for autoloading. So once, whenever any new class will get, will create any object of a class, that class will get automatically loaded. So uh, I'll create this file with the name functions dot php and if in future if you are going to use any other function so we'll put it into here okay so there's a function spl auto re load register this is the function which accept uh, function as a parameter so we'll create one anonymous function which accept one parameters class name and here we'll uh, write logic for adding the dynamic class auto loading so we'll create one variable path and we'll use str to lower and path is class name variable okay and we'll con concat it with PHP file okay so and we'll check if this file is exist uh, if this file is exist then we'll require it dollar uh, path else we'll show some error or we can use die no, don't use die just say echo file dollar path is not found okay semicolon so once uh, we create object of a class that automatically get included we don't need to write include everywhere in every file okay so this is the rest class and this is the api class this is the function which is ready now once user hit on the uh, generate any request so what we will do from here we'll create an object of that api class and we'll call it process api method so be before that what we have to do i just require here function.php okay and create an object of api class API so if you see and I'll just go here and just I'll echo this one and let's see uh, what we are getting so this is the this will be the URL uh, this will be the URL for our API and once we I have selected method post and we have not specified any request yet just I'm hitting to this URL and we are what we are getting we have to check so require once function dot php okay what we have missed here functions dot php actually the file name is function okay functions dot php now if you send this you can see here api dot php and rest php so basically I am trying to create object of this api so 
this file get included uh, first then if you go there into api so we are trying to extend this class and i have not set any reference or i have not included it this file here set it uh, that's why the second file is getting i uh, included is res.php okay okay so now now what we have to do i have created one sam sample request over here uh, generate token so we will pass as i said uh, we are going to use uh, only post method we will work we will be working with the post method only and uh, here url and in inside body raw you have to write your request so i am creating one web service generate token and parameters are email id and password okay once i click here on send button so what what i want to do i should uh, read this data and i should extract web service name parameters and everything so we have to write logic for that okay so what we have to do an api uh, we already have one constructor of rest so we have to call constructor of rest first uh, from this file so what i will do here i will create a constructor and call parent constructor okay so it will call the constructor of rest and here the first thing we will do is we will check the method if the method is post then only we will process further else we will throw an error okay so we'll check one condition or before that just just let's print whether we are getting that request or not so uh, by using f open function uh, file open function we can read the uh, stream data so like raw data this data we have to read right this data we have to read so by using uh, this function file is equal to f open function and uh, here we have to specify the path of the file right but we don't have path currently what we are from where we have to read the request from where the request is coming and that raw mat data we have to read so for that php provide one functionality we have to write php colon double forward slash and input we have to read data from here so we have to read so mode will be r okay now uh, now it the handler file handler is coming to the dollar file variable and there is one function uh, stream read so we have to use that function stream get contents this is the function stream underscore sorry get contents so here we have to pass the handler so which is file and it will return the string into string format so for example i am saying uh, request is equal to this okay or you can name it handler file handler or anything you can name it so now if you print this thing just echo it what you are getting let's see so if you go here and click on see this is what the area where we are going to get the response you can see uh, one minute i'll go here and remove this echo So you can see we are able to read this data this is what we have to do so we are able to read this data now what we have to do we have to validate this request we have to validate this method we have to validate this uh, content type it should be application slash json only okay so in the next tutorial we will see how to uh, validate this uh, request how to validate method 
content type okay so thank you very much guys for watching